I'm a combination of a radiologist and a surgeon. What I do is solve uh, problems that would in the past require major surgery that now we can solve through much smaller holes. Uh, most patients think of that as robotics or laparoscopic, but that's still uh, surgeons work and only surgeons work. Whereas my field takes into account the use of various imaging tools, but whether it be a CAT scan, an ultrasound, or simple x-ray to guide what we do. And that can be from anything from fixing a leg that doesn't have sufficient circulation to uh, draining an abscess in a patient who's had surgery and now has an infection. Uh, and then on to the cancer population, it's used frequently to treat people with localized tumors in, in liver or other organs that we can either microwave or burn or even freeze. And then even deliver chemotherapy in very concentrated doses to certain organs, generally the liver, uh, to treat cancer. So it's a field of great breadth. One of the recommendations after the CAT scan was you fractured a vertebrae. We want you to see Dr. Gerald Zemmel. And I looked at his specialty and I said, I don't understand this. And then she explained that the procedure, the balloon procedure, was an instant fix. And I must say it really was. Dr. Zemmel was just no nonsense, but comfortable in his presentation of the procedure. And I just had an instant feeling of confidence in him and saw no reason to question or get a second opinion. Dr. Zemmel is obviously smart and has a wonderful grasp of the situation immediately. Um, the, he got the CAT scan and he shared it with me and showed me precisely where the problem was and how it could be remedied. And he took the time. And, and that, I think, is probably the most critical factor in recognizing a comfort level in someone especially when you have to go under. And I, the idea of going under appalls me because it's a lack of control. And yet he, even afterwards, showed me precisely what he did. And it was just so fascinating. It is just such a phenomenal, non-invasive overall procedure that for anyone who suffers any kind of back pain, and I had had two herniated discs, so I knew the, the subsequent problems you could have. It, it was a miraculous recovery. With cancer, it's all about prolonging life first, and of course, while trying to maintain as much quality of life as possible. Um, but the bottom line is first maintaining life and prolonging it, and much of what we do does just that. The problem we get into is that where someone may have only lived two years in the past with a certain diagnosis and now can be kept alive 15, 20 more years, there are also many more complex problems that arise in that period of time that require treatment. So all these techniques get put to the task of helping people stay alive much longer while dealing with the complications and side effects of those treatments. The field I began in was diagnostic radiology, as do all people who do what I do. That's where we begin. And in that field, there's very little patient contact. And those of us who chose to take the path I took did so primarily because we enjoy patient contact and thrive on it. And to me, that's why I see patients in an office every day uh, that I do as opposed to saying in a, an operating or procedure room every day. It, 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 makes, it truly does make it all worthwhile.